Mycelium leather is a sustainable vegan material grown from fungal networks, offering an eco-friendly alternative to animal and plastic-based leather with comparable durability and a unique texture. It's a high-performance biomaterial used in luxury goods and athletic wear, valued for its environmental benefits, including biodegradability and reduced water usage, though it's still a niche and emerging market. Mycelium leather, often called mycelial biomaterial or fungal leather, is an emerging sustainable material made from the root structure, mycelium, of fungi. It offers a biodegradable, low-carbon alternative to animal leather and petroleum-based synthetics, with tunable mechanical properties suitable for use in luxury goods, footwear, and performance apparel. Mycelium Growth and Harvesting Substrate Preparation Mycelium grows by digesting agricultural or food waste, such as sawdust, straw, corn husks, or sugarcane bagasse. The substrate is sterilized to remove competing microbes, then mixed with nutrients to optimize fungal growth. Inoculation Selected fungal strains, commonly from the genera Ganoderma, Tremates, or Pleurotus, are inoculated into the substrate. These species are chosen for their dense, filamentous hyphal networks and robust mechanical strength. Growth Phase The inoculated substrate is incubated in a controlled environment, temperature approximately 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, high humidity, limited light. Over several days, the mycelium colonizes the substrate, forming an interwoven foam-like mat. The density, thickness, and texture can be tuned by adjusting growth time, CO2 concentration, humidity, and oxygen levels. For sheet-like leather formation, the growth is directed in flat molds or trays to achieve uniform layers. Harvesting once the desired mat thickness is achieved, usually 1 to 5 millimeters, the mycelium is harvested by removing it from the mold. The substrate may be mechanically separated or dissolved, leaving a continuous mycelial film. Processing and Stabilization After harvesting, the raw mycelium mat is delicate and must be stabilized to halt biological activity and enhance mechanical integrity. Heat and chemical treatment. The mat is dried or heat treated to deactivate enzymes and stop growth. Mild cross-linking or tanning treatments are applied, often bio-based or non-toxic alternatives to chromium tanning, to improve durability, water resistance, and flexibility. Compression and texturing. The treated mat is compressed using rollers or hydraulic presses to achieve desired density and surface smoothness. Textures and grain patterns can be embossed to mimic animal hides or designed for unique finishes. Coating and Finishing To improve performance, a thin bio-based or polyurethane coating may be applied for Abrasion Resistance Hydrophobicity Coloration and dye uptake using natural or low impact dyes. Material properties and performance. Mechanical strength. Tunable tensile strength, 2 to 10 megapascals, and elongation depending on fungal strain and processing. Breathability. Porous network allows moisture management superior to plastic-based leather alternatives. Lightweight and flexible, lower density than animal leather, with soft hand feel and excellent conformability. Biodegradability, fully compostable under controlled conditions, as it is composed primarily of polysaccharides, chitin, glucans. Customizability, Properties can be engineered by controlling fungal species, substrate, and growth parameters. Application in eco-conscious fashion. Milo, bolt threads. 
Pros High durability, strength, and flexibility comparable to animal leather. Known for its softness and velvety touch. Cons Currently limited to luxury items, leading to high costs. Fine mycelium, myco works. Pros Engineered to mimic nature, creating a highly customizable material and grown to form 3D structures, offering unique textures and shapes. Cons A luxury material that is still in the experimental and commercialization phases.